After Hours with the crew and probably the most heartfelt. Exciting addition, Arjun Outwall here. Uh, you've raked in the personal hardware in the last couple of games, but your team just set the franchise record for wins in a regular season. Just put me in your mindset right now. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, we were just fighting with these guys. The, last, uh, the coaches let us know about eight games left in the year that we could uh, do something special. and. That was our goal to finish off the season and uh, set this record and we achieved it and it's just an unreal feeling right now. So let's talk a bit about what took you guys here. You were second to Bonneville for quite some time. They start to spin their tires at the wrong time and then it becomes more real, right? You just have to kind of stick to your own game, I would imagine was the mantra in order to get where you just got. Yeah, absolutely. It was just uh, control what you can control and uh, win your games, do your part of the job and hopefully somebody will help you out. And we luckily got some help, so it's uh, fantastic. Um, any idea how you guys are going to handle the bye week? You've got some downtime now. You're not sure who your playoff opponent is going to be. Have you been in a situation like that yet? And how do you kind of forecast the next week going? Uh, I haven't really been in a situation like this, but uh, we got good leaders and we got a good good coaching staff and management, and we'll handle it just fine. We'll we'll get the rest that we needed. We'll be in we'll be in great shape and we'll be ready to go for the second round coming out hard. You've been around this organization for a couple seasons now. What was different about this group that allowed you guys to achieve a franchise? record like this well I just think we're four lines deep six six eight D and two goalies and we can just roll and come at you in waves and keep coming and keep coming and that just wears teams down and and it's just such a tight-knit group and uh, it's it's you don't see groups like this all the time so it's it's pretty great um, obviously, you're looking across to the South Division. You see Brooks, and Brooks has been a monster this year, as you well know. Uh, do you feel like this team has it within themselves to be able to take that to the Interpipeline Cup and, and perhaps knock off the, the Giant, if you will? Well, absolutely. We gotta we gotta get through the North here and do our thing. But uh, if we do get there, and uh, I, th I think we we have a great shot at taking them down. Uh, we played him with our full lineup in, in Brooks, and we lost in an unfortunate uh, scenario, but I think I think we got what it takes to beat them. Let's talk just for a minute about your personal achievements this year. You're like second in the league in points per game. You obviously missed an extended period of time, picked up right where you left off as well, and almost better, I think, after your injury. Um, just some of the hardware that you've taken home. You go on the Coach's Award, you won Team MVP. What does all this mean to you? Does it feel real yet? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it's it's always an honor winning winning hardware and awards on such, especially on such a great team. Uh, it means a lot. But uh, my my main focus right now is on our playoff run and what we can achieve as a team, and just having a great push at the at start of the real season here. All right. And to that point, I'll finish with this. At what point do you stop celebrating? And start preparing. Well, uh, yeah, I think it's just a couple days, enjoy it, and <laughs> right back to work, and uh, the real season begins, and we know we know we got to get what it takes, and uh, we're just going to have fun and enjoy it. All right, RJ, I appreciate it. Congratulations. Go celebrate. All right, thank you. Joined by Reed Irwin now on After Hours with the crew, enjoying a celebratory Alley Cat beer, my friend. Cheers to the best regular season win total. And you weren't here for all of it, but you have been a huge part of things since January 10th. Just uh, put me in the mindset right now where you're at. Oh, I, I think for the most part, I'm really thankful to, to be here for sure. Coming from, obviously coming from Lloyd Minster, where it wasn't the best situation, and to, to a group of guys here, a coaching staff, like everyone has treated me and Kaiser really well. And it's just, it's just I, we feel really fortunate and we're happy to be here for sure. We've seen, oh my good God. We've seen Clay fill beers of people. <laughs> Damn it, Clay. You know what? Keep, keep it rolling. This is a celebration, baby. <laughs> okay, read, read, read. So you've. Yes. <laughs> okay, you, yeah, we're happy. We don't. We didn't think that you had this offensive input like within your game, and you have just exploded. You're, what, 22 points, I believe, in 21 games with the crew. Did you know that you had this in your game? Uh, well, for, first off, like I, I always believed in myself and my abilities. Um, I was actually a forward and midget, and I changed over last year to defense, so it was all about kind of finding my rhythm, and I knew I knew I was capable to do it, but it's, it's all about my teammates and them finding me and them putting the puck in the net too. It's it's a whole different league playing with playing with these guys. So it's been it's been really fun. 
So, <laughs> we'll just bring it back now. Uh, you got a week, or I guess two weeks off to prepare for whoever the opponent may be next. I asked Arjun the same question earlier in the segment. When does the celebration stop? When does preparation begin? Oh, I think celebration stops after after tonight and, and Monday. I mean, we got we got a week off, and we're gonna we're gonna use it to become a well-oiled machine and be ready for whoever we take on in the second round. And we want to be going. We want to be rolling. So yeah, we're excited. You know this group a lot better than I do. Do you guys have what it takes? Supposing you come out of the north on top, you've got the Brooks Bandits who set uh, <laughs> plenty of records of their own over the course of this season. Do you guys have the what it takes to beat that team? Oh, I, I, th I think so. It's like my, my fourth game when we played Brooks. And uh, unfor like we had, a, we had a tough ending to that game, but we came back. And I think ju just by, by that game and playing in it, we know we have the skill to match their team and the tenacity. and. I think if, if we got there, it'd be it would be a fun one. I think we have it. All right, Reed. Well, I'll let you go celebrate. We'll cheers one more time Sweet. to Alley Cat Beer, and I wish you luck going forward in the playoffs. We'll talk again soon. Sweet. Thank you very much.